we try to implement the building information modeling so we could work with the big data, have everything in one place, navigating through the models, combining from dis different disciplines so all the stakeholders of the project have the same view, same image of the project we are working on. So we combine our structural models, we combine architectural, we combine our point clouds so we get the real world context of the project we have outside the the biggest benefit of implementing BIM in the projects is having all the data in one place. Generally we have we would have a lot of drawings, thick books of documentation. Using BIM we can implement all the data within the models so we have everything in one place and everyone collaboratively can work on through the project platform. You see an example of innovation in this project is the drone uh, filming where we actually have a cloud uh, of punctures for uh, sheet piles which we were able to merge into a model so we had an S built for, for the sheet piles on this side and it made it possible for us to make adjustments to the neighbor's side and actually plan for anchoring through the sheet piles um, so we are, were able to avoid collisions. The, the innovation in this perspective makes our work easier because it makes it more simple to explain, it gets, uh, gets more intuitive. So when we have uh, maybe a, a model with information, we actually can put on photos, so we have a, a normal context for people to understand it in. So it makes it a lot easier to explain people who are not uh, normally in this uh, trade. When Subline asked us to come and fly their, um, their construction site with our drone, it's, um, well, it's mainly because they want to have an overview of the entire site for planning purposes. But apart from that, they've come afterwards and asked us for volume calculation, which is, uh, the drone is, is excellent for it because it uses photogrammetry to measure everything. And it's much faster than traditional surveying, and which in the end makes it a lot cheaper for the client. A drone flight out here takes about 15 minutes compared to a survey using at least a day on site. Of course, there'll be some processing of the data in the office afterwards, but it's nothing compared to traditional surveying.